said, you want to paint lines on the highway? I said, no. Do you want to paint numbers on the seats in the polo ground? No. I only paint pictures. So finally, I got a job. My first job was painting a Hebrew national salami sign on the Flatbush Extension in Brooklyn. So then, in 59, two guys were killed. A.B. Marco fell off Klein's department store, and another guy got killed. So I, uh, I thought, this is too dangerous. And so I went to the boss, who was Jake Starr, an old boy, and he and uh, I said, I want to, and see, I was stepping outside the union. I want to, I want thirty dollars a week more, or I'm leaving. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, you got a job here. You could get married someday, even. You could even buy a car someday. I said, I'm leaving. I want to. So I left and I never came back. And it was that was Kazum. That was it. And uh, I got a, a loft down on the waterfront for 45 bucks a month. And I wonder what the hell I was going to do. I had no idea what I was going to do. But I used to watch the Wall Streeters come and go. And I, then I started clipping images out of magazines that I thought were really peculiar, ridiculous, contradictory, and so forth and so on. And I started making my what's called pop art paintings now. One was a front of a 450 Ford, two people whispering to each other in a field of Franco-American spaghetti. My work, you know, is always, it's like I'm a colligator. That's I do collages. They're really collages of disparate imagery put together. So I wondered where that started. And everyone said, oh, Kirk Schroeder did it. He's the one who was a collagist, he, colligator, he did it. Then I, then I think back, and I remember during World War II, I saw an exhibition in a museum in Ohio. Oh, it had a bunch of th three items. A live flower, a little painting, and a shrunken head. I was little. I go, what? The f what the hell does that mean? And then I went back to, you know, reading. I read the Book of Tea. I studied Eastern philosophy, and in the Book of Tea, you're supposed to drink a ten cups of hot tea and sweat and meditate on three things: a flower, a painting, and a decorated tea bowl, something like that was in the 19... The Book of Tea was read in Boston in 1900, the Book of Tea. And it was like the spark of different images brings another idea, and the, 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 the images are really expendable, but what's left over is your idea, your new idea.